So let's see what they are developing here. So same thing, guys. Uh, dating project, same in the pilot project. You guys uh, did from here or the previous one? Authorized Devahar. So username and password required, and then it's, it will be done. From terminal also you can connect. Scratch shark. So this you have not done right in previous. Okay. So yeah, scratch shark is nothing but like the base art that you you can create it. Okay. Uh, so for that you can use you know, this command same thing create a default scratch art. So so when you type sfdx, you will get uh, the things right. Authorize and or create a dev or so similar to that. This is one more option that you will get to creating your scratch art. Okay. So what will happen when you do this? So the all the components uh, when the by default components will come here, and we can use for the next trial purposes here. So, so basically. You already created this right tail head project. So for that, it will create a scratch arc. So there's nothing on that. So this is also done. You have created this same same component bundle versions. Are you guys recalling this? The metadata XML file. Yes. It's the same guys actually. So let's see what they are cooking. Okay, they are trying to display uh, the contacts. Okay, when you want this. Okay, let's let me explain this. So I hope like till here you got things. Okay, and track. Of the con contacts they are displaying so you know like a standard object so inside that so you can see the id <clears throat> and name right and title so these things that they are declaring okay so this this is like uh oh what, what it can say so if you uh are used to the javascript okay so when you open the brace the function thing so you will declare the events right i mean the function calls step by step so similar to that so you you can define the same set of uh, variables for a single object here okay so here also they did they have declared our <clears throat> so have you guys ever uh, created or inserted any object from uh, using a uh, new method, new method means any record. Yeah, any record. Yes. Yeah. So there, what you will do? So after defining new, you will give the details, right? What are the mandatory field values? So that you will define, right? yes so similar to that it's the same thing so for this contacts uh, they have they are declaring the id name title for this okay so the same thing <clears throat> you can see for uh, all this like they have defined all three and they have closed in so the square brackets you can see okay so it will store and assign to the contacts just like an arrow uh, array Okay, just remember, like uh, type of array, it will be it's storing on that. Okay, so let's see, like what are the things they are doing. Like, uh, so after defining that, how it looks like, and they are also defining the HTML. Okay, so the item contact they are getting here, and you can see the contact name they are fetching and the title. With these two, what we have defined here okay name and title 
guys getting? Yes. yes. So they're, they're trying to uh, put the title like this. It's a contact information they're trying to display. It's a simple thing only. And you can, you know, right, the lighting card we have used for displaying purpose UI thing. The template tags, they have not included here, but whenever you create the component, by default, it will come. So no need to bother about that. So same yesterday, also it's the same. Like we have, we need to define a uh, division inside that lightning card, like kind of section, okay? So in that, you can see the thing, what they are do, uh, doing here. So you can see this line number three. Uh, hope you guys are aware of uh, for loop. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So here, like in Apex and all, you you will define for inside that the type of uh, variable or the object and the variable and what is the list that they need to iterate in the for loop. Okay. So instead of that, you can see for each they have defined. That means for each of the components or uh, the variables they have inside that so it will iterate through this and based on the id it will uh, display the variables so you can see contact that name and contact that title so these are the values it will fetch from the contact yeah getting guys so that Second. means for each element yeah, for each in array. Yeah, for each and for each item. Yeah, okay. So as I told, like we uh, need to uh, go and see the uh, these things, right? Uh, the shortcuts and VS Code. Anybody visited that? Means do things like Control Shift plus P. Okay. Only one. Okay, so I mean, just for uh, saving your time, that will be useful using shortcuts and that. Fine. Like you will learn when you, since you already started on that, that that's very good. Uh, I mean, instead of doing those things blindly, just read that thing. Like whatever the thing they have given as an assignment, also just take that and do your uh, groundwork like go and see why we are using that what is the use of that so for example you can see so i say lightning card is to display the ui in a kind of box format or the ui design it will come like that so you can get more things also right so not only what i said is right but instead of that there will be some additional information also when you go and see and read the articles and the Okay, so half of the information from uh, the um, from the articles also you can get. So I mean, since you are still in learning phase, so at, at this time, just remember the things. Okay, lightning card. Okay, this we use for uh, UI design purpose. If you want to display in this format, okay, we will use this. So you can remember that, but you should also have the extra thing like extra information why we need so in the lightning framework why what is the use of this how it can be like what are the other tags we can use instead of this what are the replacements or, or alternatives for lightning card so all these things when you read into the articles uh and lightning framework when you try to understand then you will get all those okay so here is some assignment let's see okay they just want to verify this step okay any doubts guys in this there is nothing actually apart from this iterating loop the remaining things are from yesterday's topic only correct no yeah one doubt yeah like do we need to do anything to make our org as a scratch org sorry 
means i want to make my org as a scratch org mm -hmm. so do we need to do anything no uh, when at the time of creation only can uh, take it right why do we need to go on and do it okay yeah so well, the time of creation only it will come right we already have the thing yeah actually in the unit it is said that uh, if we want to use frequently deploy then we will use the yeah. so actually when you started with the vs code that is the main use okay when you can't so in your project or uh, in your uh, company like you are frequently using that so using that means like continuously you will develop and by the end of the day or middle of the day so once you're done you will push the changes into the server okay and again uh, we need to fetch the the continuous deployment after fetching it or after pushing the changes so someone will review your changes and they will raise the merge request once that is merged so there are certain uh, things less certain companies use auto deployment okay when uh, that means whenever the merge request is approved immediately it will deploy to the source uh, target arc okay so again when next mr comes again it will uh, it will go for review and it will uh, do the auto deployment okay uh, but from that also like when your the mr is uh, merge request is raised so someone will go and review right so in that case once all the merge requests are uh, uh, ready and approved or reviewed then at a time they will pick all the merge requests and deploy it at single time maybe uh, in a single day or twice in a day like that it will go so here this, this means like you are not doing uh, i mean so you have to maintain your local arc up to date right because many people will be using that so maybe uh, the changes will get override if you are not up to date so in that case yes th this is the this is called like cicd so continuous integration and continuous development or deployment okay, okay. yeah yeah scratch arg you know right scratch arg is like uh, when you create this uh, the scratch arg for deployment purpose like mainly so if you want to learn something on a deployment purpose okay so you can use that uh, create this scratch arc and use that for learning purpose okay so it does not have any extra benefits uh, no actually that, that is a benefit uh, so even if you create a normal self hosting and all so you actually will go and work and it's a kind of long term you, you will use it so the scratch arg is something like they can do uh, multiple integration in your uh, uh, edition for example your project is already okay in you are in production so in production you will not do the de uh, deployments every day once in a while you will do right maybe after sprints after enhancement particular enhancement after like it it will take a time uh, taking like there will be no continuous thing deployments so for that you will not use a scratcher scratcher is used when you are uh, trying to do the continuous development and uh, deployments yeah i got it no i got it yeah, sorry, one more. Oh, uh so let's say we have a scratch or one or normal working or so if we do are doing any changes do we need to always keep updated the scratch or and our normal or also like um, we have in every changes we deploy the source to all right so in that case is it not a double work we do we need to always keep updated both the scratch or and our original or okay so i think still it's not getting mm. For example, let's say uh, you are working on a project. Let's say time sheet project only. Okay, at present it is still in development stage. Okay, so 
per day like you are developing some code and to a safer site you are pushing into the server okay so next time like sikand also doing the changes and he is also pushing the changes so and like once everything is reached there okay so that means in the server you have your all code like everybody's code is there in the server okay for example in that from the server we want to create two orgs where we can give it for one is for development again one is for testing okay the source is same okay that is in the server so from that server if you create how we can create these two arcs is using the scratch arcs okay we will create on scratch arc from same source and uh, you will use it as a development arc the other one you will create it and you can use it for a qa testing okay so after some time so you were you from your development arc again you start development let's say phase 2 phase 2 is started and you are already uh, doing some changes okay after this this code changes will go right okay into the server it will be there the phase 2 changes also it's there whereas the qa they are still testing on the phase 1 okay so instead of refreshing that uh, uh, qa arc they can create one more scratch arc from the server okay and give it for again for testing the previous one they can uh, i mean depose i mean we can they can delete that existing arc so that's how uh, they'll use on this scratch arcs yes, yes. got it guys are uh, still confused no got it okay so th these are like the normal use uh, errors but we will not do because when you are using this uh, visual studio code so automatically the things will get populated it will make uh, you guys too easy on this one okay so but uh, just to know on this what are the errors here with the decorator uh, with simple thing but nobody will do on this one so the track they need to define okay uh, let's see is there any it extends Spot plugs, plugins, okay, no problem. Fixing HTML is simple, uh, basically, when you are uh, working with this, it's that if you know the tags, when to use, where to use, then it's done. Getting yes, 